Welcome, friends, to part two of the Lost Souls Rectangular Blanket with the Scalloped Edges. In, in part one, I showed you how to make the bottom scallops. So in part two, we're going to join the scallops and create rows for the length of the blanket that you will need that will also have scallops on the side of the blanket. The, the, the actual pattern is from the designer, Marietta Roy, with her triangular shawl. We have changed it to this rectangular blanket. So let's continue on and start on part two. So in the making of this pattern, we stopped at row five. Since we're not going to be doing the same as the triangular shawl, we're going to skip row six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. We will start with row thirteen, but we will not follow the directions exactly. The directions are given for a triangular shawl, so we're going to be doing uh, a few things different. So we want to stack our bottom scallops with them all facing the same direction. Here you'll see how we have our right sides of our stitch facing up and our wrong sides on the back side here. In a pile, take all of them and have them facing all the same direction. Once you have them all facing the same direction, have the wrong side facing up towards you so that we can start over here, I'm right-handed, so it'll be starting on the right side and working across. So to begin, as mentioned in the first of the video, please make sure you have a long enough tail so that we can weave it in when we're done and place a slip knot on our hook. On the right side, we're going to pull up into that last stitch. And we're going to complete a chain. Place your tail in the back and snug everything up just a little bit. And then go ahead and chain three. Into our first chain one, Let's do our shell. Then we chain three and into our first single crochet we're going to place a single crochet. We're going to single crochet two more times, one per stitch. Our next stitch will be a double crochet chain one, skip the next stitch, the stitch after that, double crochet, and finish this section with three single crochets over the next three stitches.
can see this is the nose area. Here's our chin, our mouth. Starting to get shape here. Chain three. And in our chain one space, let's do our shell. You ready to move on to the next scallop? Okay, so we're going to slide this one down, making sure our next scallop is wrong side facing up. Okay, so yarn over and directly into the chain one space, we're going to do our shell. It may seem a little clumbersome, but it'll get done. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it joins right here. Let's move on. Now we're going to repeat what we did right here. Chain three, single crochet in that first stitch, and single crochet two more times. Double crochet, chain one, skip the next stitch, and in the next stitch, double crochet, and then finish this section with three single crochets. Chain three and shell. Then we will go immediately into our next bottom scallop and do the exact same thing. Do not chain between the shells, just go directly into the next bottom scallop. So here I've completed this one. I'm going to place a yarn over on my hook, bring my scallop down, and go right next into that chain one space. Also, managing the tension to make sure that you do not stretch this out too far. And complete the shell on the next scallop. So complete this across till you get to the end of the row. And I will meet you there. This is considered as row 13 from the pattern and we will keep the same pattern numbers that Marietta Roy, the designer of this pattern, used on her triangle shawl. I'll see you at the end of the row. So this is some of what your pattern should look like at the end of the row. Remember we are following the row numbers that is suggested by the designer Marietta Roy as we do this because the picture numbers are what we're looking for to help you when it comes time to do the next row. So we're going to move on to row 14. First we're going to start with a chain 3 and then we're going to turn our work. Now you're going to see here I have a lot to come by. <laughs> Alright, so like we begin every other row or every row, we're going to start with our shell in our first chain 1 space.
Okay, now we're going to chain three. And then in our first stitch, at the end of our chain, we have our first single crochet. So in that first stitch, we're going to do a half double crochet. So yarn over the hook, insert your hook into that space, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three. If you noticed, I kept my fingers real close to those loops so that they didn't stretch out. And at the end, you can snuggle it up just a little bit, and it'll keep it so that it doesn't stretch out of shape. The next thing we're going to do is chain seven. This is going to give us the shape of our eyes. So I have two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now right here, after we skip the three single crochets and the double crochet, we have our chain one space that's in the middle of our nose. Let's go ahead and place a single crochet into that just by going into the open space. And then snuggle up on that single crochet as well. Chain seven again so that we can do the other half of the face. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, then we're going to skip all of these stitches we put in. And then in that last one, right here on the end, just before the chain starts, our half double crochet. So place your finger on that loop, yarn it over, bring up a loop. And see how we're trying to keep all of our stitches, the, same, the loops the same size. Yarn over and through all three, and then snug it up just a little bit. Now we're going to chain three, and then we're going to shell. Alright, so let me tell you what's going to happen next. The next thing we want to do is make sure that this all lies flat. Sometimes this can twist on you because it is joined already with just one row. So make sure that this is not twisted, but I want you to look at it and you can see that of this scallop and of this scallop, one face is completed here. Now we're starting on to our next face. So to separate the trim work that's going to go in between it, for this row, we're going to chain two between the scallop. Then we scallop onto the next shell. I mean, we shell onto the next shell. <laughs> All these S words of scallops and shells. I guess I got a little. Oh my goodness. It happens. <laughs> You'll also notice that I pinch my work a lot. This helps control the tension that I have on my stitching so that I don't stretch them out of shape and I help keep them all the same size. Okay. So, the next thing we're going to do here, first of all, is I'm going to pull some more yarn out. Okay, then we're going to chain three, half double crochet, chain seven, single crochet in that chain one space, chain seven, half double crochet, chain three, shell, chain two and shell complete this all the way across this is row 14 remember to follow what i suggest not the suggestion from the pattern use the pattern as reference to the picture and what row that you need to be on now didn't you find that row go by pretty quickly 
So our next row that we're going to do is row 15 from your paperwork. And of course, what we're going to do is a little bit different than what was for the triangular shawl. So let's chain three and then turn our work. You'll notice that we still have our tail from uh, when we joined uh, the bottom scallops to the beginning of our blanket. Let's go ahead and weave that in after we complete this row. So let's begin on this row here. Let me bring the camera up a little closer. I use a GoPro because I find I can have focus at all times. So bear with me just a second. Let's bring it closer. So to begin row 15 in our first chain one, we're going to do our shell. All right, so to bring over, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Now, remember when we did the half double crochet on the previous row? We're going to single crochet into that. Then over the chain seven, we're going to place seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Also take time to stretch them across a little bit if you find that they are too close together. We're going to skip the single crochet and then we'll seven single crochets into the next chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And here we have our half double crochet. Let's go ahead and place a single crochet in that. So here's what we have so far. Let's chain three. And that'll take us to our shell. Okay, so we're ready to start our repeat again. So to join across to our next shell, we're going to chain two, and then we're going to start our shell in the next chain one space. Okay, so here we have our shell, chain three, okay, the single crochet and the half double crochet, the seven on the chain, the seven on the chain again, the single crochet into that half double crochet, chain three, shell, chain two, and we're going to repeat. So continue on with this. This is row 15. I'll meet you at the end of the row. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but my ombre is now starting to change colors from the dark to the medium dark. Let's move on to row 16. 
as we can see, our little guy is starting to take shape in his face. So beginning of row 16, let's chain three and shell in the chain one space. Alrighty, so let's begin on making his forehead and stuff. So let's chain three. Okay, so here we have our first single crochet. We're going to skip that and we're going to single crochet in the next and continue till we have a total of six. So here we have one. two, three, four, five, and six. Then right here in the center, we're going to skip two stitches and into the third, we're going to start our count again and have six single crochets. So there's two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, you want to make sure you have that one single crochet unworked. Chain three. We're going to do our shell. All right, now before you move on, let's talk a little bit about what's going to happen here. Okay, we're going to be starting our center heads right here. We have the ones right here that are almost done, but now we're going to start these center ones. You'll notice down here in the chin how we have our little archway here. So we're going to do the same thing here. So we're going to chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then we're going to go into our shell, our chain one space, and shell again. Okay, don't forget it's two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. All right. This is row 16. So we're going to shell, chain three. We're going to skip the first single crochet, six single crochets, skip two, six single crochets, skip the last one, chain three, shell, chain seven, and shell onto your next one. This will be for row 16, and I'll meet you at the end of the row. I'm adding this addendum uh, to part two because in the making of the video, I didn't perceive some interesting ideas that could have happened in the making of this. So when we have this head here, we also have this head down here. So as you're doing the rows across for the repeat for, for 10 through 16, you'll notice that since this head is here, and this one's over here, the instructions, they're the same, but they start 
differently. Okay, so I am going to make where we're going to have a part with row 10 through 16A and 10 through 16B. And this will help make it easier for you when you refer back to the video time links that's in the description box to make it so that it's easier to find where you're at. And I'm hoping that there will be no problems with this afterwards. So now we're going to be following the row 10 from the pattern. So we're going to start off with chain 3, turn our work. We're going to shell in our chain 1 space. Okay, we're going to chain three. Now of our last row of single crochets, we're going to skip the first one. So here's the end of our chain. Here's our first single crochet. We're going to skip that one. Now we're going to do 10 single crochets across. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And you will have one single crochet left. Chain three, we're going to shell in our chain one space. Okay, we're now here at the chain seven. So this is our chin, like right down here. So we're going to chain three, and over this we're going to place seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven chain three and here's our shell so we're going to place a shell in that chain one space and then we will repeat All right, so you can see how the middle skull head here is starting to form like the bottom one right here. Okay, so to repeat this is the exact same thing as what we started right over here. We've done our shell already, so we're going to chain three skip the first single crochet, 10 single crochets, skip that last single crochet, chain three, shell, chain three, seven double crochets over the chain seven, chain three, and shell, and that should start you on your next head that we started from the bottom scallop and start working on finishing the top of his forehead. Go ahead and do that across. Remember this is row 10 and you can refer to the picture 
but I'm giving you the instructions on how to do this. Okay, so finish this and then we'll meet for the next row. We're moving along, aren't we? So let's move on to row 11. We're going to begin with our chain three and then turn our work and shell in the first chain one. Let me go ahead, you do your shell. I'm going to bring our camera closer and then we're going to move on. So after we have completed our shell, we're going to chain three. Then coming down here to the top of our head, we're going to skip the first two single crochets. And here's number one, here's number two. So in the third one, we're going to place a single crochet. We're going to single crochet across till we have a total of six. So we've done one. Here's two, three, four, five, and six. So that you can see the, the shape of the head starting to curve already. Now chain three. Then we're going to come back up here to our shell and let's shell two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. So we're moving on to our mouth. So after our shell, chain three. Now, if you remember from when we did uh, the bottom scallop, we're going to be doing the same thing here. So into that very first double crochet, we're going to single crochet, then chain seven, okay? And then skip over all of these other double crochets. And then the very last one, single crochet. Okay, so we have our little mouth opening, just like we have down here. Chain three. And here we're going to do our scallop. All right, and if we chain three again, this will make it so that we'll start on our next head where we skip two and do six single crochets, chain three. We're going to do our shell. Um, let me go back to this right over here. Okay, so we six single crochet, chain three, shell chain three, single crochet in that first double crochet, chain seven, single crochet in that last double crochet, chain three, and shell. Okay, so this is row 11. Continue till you get to the end of the row. So did you find that row interesting? I did. I wanted to show you you know, I said I made 10 scallops for the bottom, but I wanted to show you that as I work it and I'm sitting in my chair, I usually roll it so that I can keep it all together. Okay, so here's all 10 of my scallops up to where we're at in the process of all this. So here we are at the end of our row. I'm going to go ahead and chain three. And we're going to turn our work. Then we'll start row 12. 
So let's begin. This is row 12. Okay, so we're going to start off with a shell. I hope you're finding that these rows actually go pretty quickly. I think Marietta did a beautiful job designing this, making everything so easy. I applaud her. She, it's a, it, this pattern's just amazing. I love it. So, <laughs> after our shell, let's chain three. We're going to skip this first single crochet. And in the next one, we'll do our single, cro uh, our single crochet for this row. And then we're going to add three more. We're going to leave this last one here unworked. So we have one, two, three, and four. So that, that'll give us the very top of our head. So now let's chain three. Here we are at our shell. Let's go ahead and shell inside that chain one space. Okay, so this is so far. Now we're going to start on our second head. You're going to find that the repeat on this row will cover the first head and the, the center that's between the two heads right here. So we're going to do this one. This is our repeat from here to here. Okay, so after that last shell, we're going to chain three. I'm going to single crochet in that first single crochet over the chain seven, we're going to do seven single crochets. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. You notice that mine are all pretty close, so let's go ahead and spread them out. Okay, we're going to single crochet in the last single crochet and chain three and shell. You'll see that, unfortunately, in my yarn skein, the yarn broke. So let me go ahead and attach my yarn and I'll show you how to finish this. All right, so now that I've got that fixed, so after our seven single crochets on the chain and the single crochet in the single crochet of the previous row, we're going to chain three and place our shell in the chain one space. Okay, then we're going to chain three and we're on our second head. So might as well skip the first and in the second single crochet, we want a total of four. All right, so we've already started our second repeat. Okay, so here with our four is the same like back here. Then we will chain three, shell, chain three, single crochet in the single crochet of the previous row, seven single crochet over the chain seven, single crochet in the previous row, single crochet, chain three, shell, and that'll start us right here at the beginning of the row again. This completes row 12. I'll see you in the next row of 13. 
So let's begin row 13. Chain 3. We're going to shell in the chain 1 space. All right, so you can see it's going to close our our head right here. So let's go straight over and shell in the next chain one space. I'm sorry if I get out of camera range. Sometimes my hands want to move further than what the camera will project. Okay, so this is what we have in completing of this first head. Isn't that cool? <laughs> you can already see the ombre effect in mine. I'm, I'm going to like this one. But it's a gift for somebody else. All right, let's move on. So now we're going to chain three. Did I get out of camera range again? I am so sorry. <laughs> All right. So, we're going to single crochet in the first single crochet, in the second, and in the third. Then, we're going to double crochet, chain one. Now, I know all this is going to sound familiar to you because that's what we did down here. Okay? So we're going to skip this next stitch, and in the next one, double crochet, and then single crochet in the last three single crochets of the previous row. And then chain three. And then we're going to shell, and this is beginning of our repeat. So I wanted to get you started because the look is not the same as the row 13 that we did once before. Okay, so you can see what we have so far. So we're going to go directly to shell in the next shell here. And that'll close that head. Okay, and then you'll continue on. All right, so with your continuing on, you'll chain three, three single crochets, double crochet, chain one, skip the next stitch, three single crochets, chain three, shell, and shell. Okay, Our blanket's coming along nicely. So continue this row 13, and we'll meet you for row 14. So before we move on to row 14, this is where I have flipped it over. We will start right here, but this is what it looks like. You got part of a head here, and you have a full completed head right here. Okay? So... Let's move on to row 14. So let's begin with our chain three. And in our first chain one space, a shell. Okay, as we did like over here, we're going to chain two, and we're going to shell 
in our next one. Okay, now what you're going to start seeing here pretty soon is our shell is going to start going out. But this will take place over the next couple of rows. So let's move on to our half done face here. Let's chain three. In our very first single crochet, place one half double crochet. There we go. Snug it up just a little bit. Then chain seven. This will shape our eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Single crochet in our chain one space. That's between our two double crochets. Snug it up just a little bit. Chain seven. And then in the very last single crochet right here, half double crochet. And then snug it up just a little bit. Chain three. shell chain two and shell into the next shell and that'll take us on to our next face Right. So this one, for this face right here, our shell is now starting to separate. For our center head right here, we're now starting to shape the eyes. Continue across. I'll meet you at the end of the row. So here's what the end of row 14 looks like. We have our eyes, our middle face, our last uh, head of the row. Okay, let's move on to row 15. So to begin row 15, let's chain three. We're going to shell in our chain one space. Okay, then chain two. And shell in our next chain one space of our next shell. Okay, so here we have that so far. We're moving on to our head here. Chain three. Okay and single crochet over that half double crochet right here in that little loop opening. So single crochet right there. All right, then seven single crochets over the chain seven. There's five six and seven okay we're going to skip the single crochet in the center and go directly to the other side and do seven single crochets over the chain seven okay one two three uh, one two three four five six 
seven, okay? And then single crochet in that last uh, half double crochet from the previous row. And so that covers our eyes. Chain three. And shell in the chain one space. Okay, chain two and shell into the next chain one space. And then you're going to repeat that across till you get to the end of the row. And this is what that row will look like. So we have our shells going up. Now they're going to start to form out. Our face here is almost done. And this row, we will start the chin of a new face. So let's begin. Let's start with a chain three. We're going to shell in the first shell. I'm going to bring my camera up closer, so go ahead and do that. I'll be with you in just a second. So moving on, after completing our first shell, we're going to chain seven. This is going to help start forming our chin. So here I have three, four, five, six, and seven. Then we come over to our next shell. Shell in the chain one space. Okay, so you can see right here, we have the three, and then we have our chin. Okay, let's scoot it on over. Now we're going to go ahead and start working above the eyes here. So let's chain three. And I think you're going to find that re repeating these rows until I show you where you need to stop at so that we can do our top scallop. You're, think, you're going to start remembering what we have done from the previous time I showed you. And you'll, you'll be able to do it quicker as well. So, right here, we are going to skip the first stitch, or the first single crochet, and then we're going to single crochet into the next six. So that's two, three, four, five and six okay we're going to skip the two and then six single crochets over the next six stitches two three four five and six so at the end of this set of single crochets you should have one single crochet left Okay, chain three. Here's our shell again. Let's shell. After this shell, we will chain seven. And I know some of you can crochet faster than I can. <laughs> so if you're already there, hang on, hang on. Or you can keep right on going. Okay, two, three, four, five six, seven, and then shell into the next one. Repeat what we have just done all the way across, and I will meet you at the next row where we will start row 10. Hope you're enjoying this project. I know I am. I love this pattern. How many times can I say thank you, Marietta? <laughs> all right, so continue across. I'll meet you at row 10 the beginning of the next row. All right, we're going to start a repeat of row 10. So we're going to start with our chain three. 
and shell in the chain one space All right, and here we have our chain seven. This will be the uh, the chin for the next head. So we're going to chain three, and on to the chain seven, we're going to do seven double crochet. Here's number two, three, four. Five, six, and seven. All right. So you can see this chin right here. Chain three. Here we have our shell. So shell in the chain one space. Now we're going on to the head that was on the other side. Remember, we have our uh, bottom scallop one, bottom scallop two, and here we created our middle head. So we're going to go on to that one, chain three, skip your first single crochet, and into the next one, we're going to do ten single crochets. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We will have one that we're going to skip. Chain three. And we're going to shell and then here we are at our chain seven so let's chain three and then you'll place seven double crochet onto this chain seven and chain three and shell and then you will repeat across the row. So this is row 10. I'm going to show you a few more rows to show you how our middle heads will stop so that when we do our scallop it will be on the same row of our bottom scallops. So we have a few more rows to finish our middle ones. Let's keep right on going. So for row 11, we're going to be creating the top opening of our mouth and the top part narrowing down on the head. So at the beginning of our row, we're going to chain three and uh, shell in the chain one space. Okay, we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then our first double crochet here, we're going to place a single crochet. Chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I thought I pulled out enough yarn and I didn't. Hmm. Then we're going to skip over all of these double crochets and in the last one single crochet. Okay so here we have our little mouth opening. Chain three, shell in the chain one space,
chain three, one, two, three. Okay, so now we're starting our middle head, the top half here. We're going to skip the first two single crochets, and in the third single crochet, place your single crochet. And then we're going to add five more for a total of six. So here's two, three, four, five, and six. And make sure at the end of your row you do have your two single crochets left. Chain three. We're going into our shell. All right, that takes us back to where we were like at the beginning because here we will chain three single crochet in that first double crochet. So for this row, go ahead and repeat the shell, chain three, single crochet, chain seven, single crochet, chain three, shell, chain three, six, single crochet, chain three, shell. I'll meet you at the end of the row and then let's get ready for row 12. Row 12. Chain 3, shell, Okay, then chain three. Okay, so over here, our first single crochet before our chain seven, we're going to single crochet into that. Seven single crochets over the chain seven. four, five, six, and seven. Okay, if you did like I did, you might want to spread them out just a little bit. Okay, then single crochet in the last single crochet, chain three, we're going to skip over this chain and shell in the chain one. All right, so that worked on the first head along the edge. Now you notice that my ombre yarn is now changing quite quickly. <laughs> So I'm in lighter color now. It'll all look really good when it's finished. Okay, so chain three. Now we're gonna skip that first single crochet, four single crochets in the next four stitches. Two, three, and four. Okay, and then we're going to chain three. And shell in the next shell. And this is where our repeat will begin. So I encourage you to go ahead and finish this row. And as you can see here, all right, let's see if we can bring this up a little bit better. Our bottom scallops. These are our middle heads right here. You can see it has just that one row to close it off. Okay, so when we're doing the length that we want for our blanket,
this is how we're going to finish it. And this row right here is going to get our top scallop. Okay, so go ahead and do that across, and then we'll do row 13 to finish this here. And then we'll start on part three. See you in a few minutes. So on to row 13. We're going to chain three and then scallop, I mean shell, in the first chain one space. All right, chain three. And in our first single crochet, place a single crochet and single crochet number two and number three. In our next stitch, double crochet, chain one, skip the next stitch and the stitch after that, double crochet. This gives our nose opening and then three single crochets. Chain three and shell. All right, and this is what we have for the outside head. Okay, let's move on. All right, so we've completed our shell. What I'm encourage you to do is kind of snug it up just a little bit and then shell in the next shell. Okay, chain three. And then we'll, I'm going to stop right here with this single crochet. You'll do a total of three single crochets, double crochet, chain one, skip one, double crochet, three single. So you can see here that we have closed, oops, I'm almost out of camera range, that we have closed this head right here. Okay, this head is what I would call the, one of the middle heads. The heads here that go in line with our bottom scallops here will not be considered middle heads. So if you find a goes in between them, that's a middle head. And this is how we want our very last row to be before we start our scallops. So after you do the repeat, however many times you want to do, to make the total length of your blanket, you will end with row 13 with the middle head completed. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue with this row and finish it all the way across and then we'll get ready for part three. All right, so now we have completed this row, number 13, and I would like for you to point, to point out to you, the heads right here are the ones that we're going to have the scallops. The one that's in the middle of the two that will get the scallops, this is our final look for that row. Okay, so when you make this blanket, you're going to make it as long as you would like. You may want a short one, just enough to cover your knees. You may want a long one to cover your bed. Which, the choice is yours. So you will want to stop at row 13 when the two shells are joined over a completed head. So this concludes part two. 
we're going to move on to part three and I'm going to show you how to finish each side with a scallop. I have a second addendum for this part two video. You'll notice here before we finish part two, I asked you to stop at row 13, which is right here. Okay. I thought that once I started the scallops that we'd be good, but in order to balance it so that we have the same three and make it so that the scallops are not as floppy, we need to add two more rows, which is row 14 and row 15. I will point out to you in the video which A or B it will be. So please bear with me. This is after the fact. I guess you can tell because I haven't been to the spa because of the lockdown. But I've complete since I've completed this blanket, I wanted to do this correctly for everybody. Let me show you what the bottom looks like so that you'll understand what I'm referring to. So here's our beginning shell, our scallop, and here's the three. So we need to include that at the end of our blanket. Oh, I lost the end. I am so sorry. Here we go. So that we will have it matching front to bottom. So please bear with me in this. So we will I will add the correct um 14 and 15. Please note that the coloring will be off, but it will be the correct row that you will need to add. So thank you for bearing with me on this. Let's continue on. So this is some of what your pattern should look like at the end of the row. Remember, we are following the row numbers that is suggested by the designer Marietta Roy as we do this because the picture numbers are what we're looking for to help you when it comes time to do the next row. So we're going to move on to row 14. First, we're going to start with a chain three. And then we're going to turn our work. Now you're going to see here I have a lot to come by. <laughs> All right, so like we begin every other row or every row, we're going to start with our shell in our first chain one space. Okay, now we're going to chain three. And then in our first stitch, at the end of our chain, we have our first single crochet. So in that first stitch, we're going to do a half double crochet. So yarn over the hook, insert your hook into that space, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three. If you noticed, I kept my fingers real close to those loops so that they didn't stretch out. And at the end, you can snuggle it up just a little bit and it'll keep it so that it doesn't stretch out of shape. The next thing we're going to do is chain seven. This is going to give us the shape of our eyes. So I have two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now right here, after we skip the three single crochets and the double crochet, we have our chain one space that's in the middle of our nose. Let's go ahead and place a single crochet into that just by going into the open space. And then snuggle up on that single crochet as well. Chain seven again so that we can do the other half of the face. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, then we're going to skip all of these stitches we put in. And then in that last one, right here, 
on the end just before the chain starts our half double crochet so place your finger on that loop yarn it over bring up a loop and see how we're trying to keep all of our stitches the same the loops the same size yarn over and through all three and then snug it up just a little bit now we're going to chain three and then we're going to shell All right, so let me tell you what's going to happen next. The next thing we want to do is make sure that this all lies flat. Sometimes this can twist on you because it is joined already with just one row. So make sure that this is not twisted, but I want you to look at it and you can see that of this scallop and of this scallop, one face is completed here now we're starting on to our next face so to separate the trim work that's going to go in between it for this row we're going to chain two between the scallop then we scallop onto the next shell i mean we shell onto the next shell <laughs> all these S words of scallops and shells I guess I got a little oh my goodness it happens <laughs> you also notice that I pinch my work a lot this helps control the tension that I have on my stitching so that I don't stretch them out of shape and I help keep them all the same size okay so the next thing we're going to do here first of all is I'm going to pull some more yarn out okay then we're going to chain three half double crochet chain seven single crochet in that chain one space chain seven half double crochet chain three shell chain two and shell complete this all the way across this is row 14 remember to follow what i suggest not the suggestion from the pattern use the pattern as reference to the picture and what row that you need to be on now didn't you find that row go by pretty quickly so our next row that we're going to do is row 15 from your paperwork and of course what we're going to do is a little bit different than what was for the triangular shawl so let's chain three and then turn our work you'll notice that we still have our tail from uh, when we joined uh, the bottom scallops to the beginning of our blanket let's go ahead and weave that in after we complete this row so let's begin on this row here let me bring the camera up a little closer I use a GoPro because I find I can have focus at all times so bear with me just a second let's bring it closer so to begin row 15 in our first chain one we're going to do our shell all right so to bring over we're going to chain three one two three now Remember when we did the half double crochet on the previous row? We're going to single crochet into that. Now 
then over the chain seven we're going to place seven single crochets one two three four five six and seven also take time to stretch them across a little bit if you find that they are too close together we're going to skip the single crochet and then we'll seven single crochets into the next chain one two three four five six and seven and here we have our half double crochet let's go ahead and place a single crochet in that so here's what we have so far let's chain three and that'll take us to our shell Okay, so we're ready to start our repeat again. So to join across to our next shell, we're going to chain two, and then we're going to start our shell in the next chain one space. Okay, so here we have our shell, chain three, okay, the single crochet and the half double crochet, the seven on the chain, the seven on the chain again, the single crochet into that half double crochet, chain three, shell, chain two, and we're going to repeat. So continue on with this. This is row 15. I'll meet you at the end of the row.